Okay guys, welcome. Uh, I wanna buy a new blow dryer. I've had mine for probably 15 years. And so I'm gonna step out and I thought, okay, I'm gonna get a little bit more. And the one that I really wanted was the Dyson, uh, which has all the different attachments which would work for me really, really well, because as you've probably seen throughout my channel, I've had short hair in between, long hair up and down. So attachments would really work well for me, but I could not afford $809. That is just, yes, that's a little bit high. And um, so actually what happened is I ended up uh, getting a Revlon, the One Step Hair Dryer vol Volumizer. So volume's really important for me because I have lots of hair, but it's so fine. And uh, so I thought, oh, well, this would work. This is a really big brush. So yes, here, actually, really big brush. Anyway, I thought, well, let's just go. It didn't break the bank, for, definitely. Um, $68. And um, actually, I had my daughter pick it up for me. So and she gets a deal somewhere. It feels really good, like gripping it like this. So the only way I'm gonna know if it works for me is by using it. So I've just actually got out of the shower. I, I've never done this before. And okay, so I'm going to take off my glasses. I can see in the mirror, but I can't see anything close up. Okay. so. I'm not going to use any product because I normally don't use a lot of product in my hair. I used to, but I don't so much anymore. But I'm also one of these people that I want to try it without anything because I, <laughs> my philosophy is if it works with absolutely no product in my hair, then it's going to be nothing but awesome if I start using some product. So, um, like I say, and, and, High days, holidays are maybe the days that I use products. So here we go, let's see. It's gonna be weird. Okay, <laughs> there we go. Oh man, yeah, I, I don't know. I can't get contacts because I have three different uh, strengths of my glasses. Okay, so it, this has got three different, well, off, and the uh, cool, low, and high, which is nice. And it does have the revolving cord, still has the little arrow on it right there. So that's really nice. Um, my iron has that too. Yes, I iron. <laughs> okay, what's gonna be weird for me is I'm normally like, right, blow drying, doing this. So this is sort of like one deal. Okay, so try it. See what happens. Oh, it's kind of shake my hand. Oh, see, there I go with my hand. What do I do with this hand? Okay, initial, first off, well, I'd like to tell you, but 
I need you to watch me now do my hair with my blow dryer. And then I'm going to tell you what I thought. Maybe you already figured it out. I don't know. Anyway, if you have, put your comments down below. And so now let's try this with my blow dryer. So it's not, I didn't even get it quite dry. I think back here. And like we said, this is without product. It's weird, it's actually still a little bit damp in here. Okay, all right, let's try it with mine. Okay, all right, I wet my hair again. I'm going to now use my little blow dryer and my brush. Now, um, I did, and for those of you who don't know, I actually was a hairdresser. Let me give you the year, okay? Things are very different, 1968. I started my apprenticeship in a place called the Georgian Towers. I wasn't there very long, but that's where I started. And in those days, you know, getting your hairdressing license was very different from what it is today. Um, I chose to do a three-year apprenticeship. And uh, so a little bit, although back then, you know, we did um, rollers and pin curls and stuff like that. I'm trying to think about 72, the unisex shops started coming in style and uh, where the guys and the gals would go into the same beauty salon. It was quite an era. When I'm all done doing my comparison, I'm gonna tell you guys a little story about little Richard and myself. Uh, I know he just currently passed away as some of you know, and I actually have a very fond story and memory of him in 1968. Uh, so I'll share that with you after. And yes, it's got to do with hair. Okay, all right, let's get this thing going. glasses okay well I will wear it like this when I'm out but not all the time I usually tuck it kind of back behind my ears and you know what you guys I don't think it's all that difficult for me to, to actually tell you what my thoughts are okay so first of all this has got to go. I got to get, definitely have to get a new blow dryer. And it will definitely be a little con air that I'm going to get. Why? Okay, well, let me get both of them. This is what I felt. First of all, this thing is huge. And I felt I had absolutely no control over the style that I wanted. And one of the things with my hair that I really try to do is lift and I was able to take my hairbrush and give it that lift. I couldn't, even with these brushes or the bristles in here, I couldn't get enough lift on it. Um, <laughs> and if you are going through menopause, you don't want this hot air blowing in your face the whole time. This is what I felt. I mean, I could feel, feel the heat everywhere. That was just, overwhelming for me whereas I feel the heat on this one is far more isolated maybe this is better for long hair and maybe that's why I'm thinking the Dyson would be better because 
I would have all the smaller attachments and I might be able to control it more. But for me, what was really difficult, and you probably saw me do that with this a couple of times, I was holding it with both my hands, trying to get some kind, and actually I was able to gr grab some of it, but it just didn't do anything for me uh, while I was blow drying it. And the other thing, like I said, I felt a turn. This is cooler now. It's still this, you know what? Actually, this is still quite warm. I would be very cautious. And this I touched by accident. See the way the brushes go? See this piece here? I touched that. That was really hot. So for me, I would not spend the $68 or whatever um, Revlon sells these for, wherever. I think that's what it is on uh, Amazon. And... Uh, <laughs> My Conair, uh, Conair Walmart special is just fine. And I'm, and the other thing too, is that imagine traveling with this. Yeah, this, and this is hot. So this is why I need a new one. And I'm definitely going to go do that. So uh, I think 15 bucks max. They have done now, of course you can get better ones. You can spend more on the Conair, but this one that I have, this little one, uh, has served me well and I will definitely stick with my little con air. So you guys, that's my review on my blow dryer. And I'm, yeah, I, I just need the control on doing my hair. And I think, I think that did a great job. Okay. So little Richard, I promise you I'd share this. 1968 is when I started apprenticing my apprenticeships and I can't remember the name of the shop. Anyway, it was a, um, beauty salon in a place called the Georgian Towers, which back in the 60s was a quite, quite a, you know, like one of the hotels to stay in. We had the Hotel Vancouver and, oh my God, I can't remember, uh, the Georgia Hotel, uh, the Georgia Hotel, the Georgian Towers. I'm talking about the Georgian Towers. Anyway, we used to have a lot of live clubs, Izzy's, Izzy Walters. We had the cave and little Richard uh, started doing acts at Izzy's. Anyway, this one evening, my boss had gone home, the owner of the shop, and I was cleaning up because as a apprentice, you get a lot of the grunt work <clears throat> as you're learning. And there was a door was locked and there was a knock on the door. And I thought, oh, you know, so I looked. So anyway, I opened the door and there's this tall, handsome fellow standing there. And he said, oh, he said, I'm so glad there's a salon in, in the building. So I'm thinking this is the first time that little Richard must have stayed in the Georgian Towers. And anyway, and he says to me, he's got a wig in his hand. And he says, I need this wig washed and set. And I said, oh, okay, yeah, I can take that and write it out. And I said, we can have, you know, I said, well, tomorrow will be okay. He goes, no, I need this now, like now, like I need this for tonight. And I went, oh my gosh, like nobody's like, I'm the last person here. I'm just closing out. And he's going, look, it would just mean we really need that. This. this is really urgent. And, um, you know, we just, I need it washed. And it was real a real hair wig, black. And I need it washed, which we would put on a head back in those days. And uh, you put the pins in. So I need it washed. I need it set. And I just need it all back home, kind of up like that. And, and just back, giving me a description how he wanted it. And I said, well, it's probably going to take about two hours. Um, but, you know, I can do it. So anyway, so he said, that's great. Thank you. Thank you. I really appreciate it. And he says, when it's done, why don't you call and um, we'll come run down and get it. And I said, okay. So anyway, so I took it. I mean, I knew how to do shampoo and set and all that. So I washed the wig and put rollers in it. I mean, we didn't blow dry back in those days. It was roller and set. So roller and set this wig. And it took me about two hours and 20 minutes, you know, put it under the dryer, combed it out. So called down to the desk, asked for the room number. And uh, I said, hi, you know, it's uh, the salon downstairs. I wish I could remember what the name of the salon was. Inga was the gal that owned it. A really short, cute little uh, German lady. Anyway, um, I said, the, you know, the wig is ready. And so the fella dropped it off to me. His name was Peyton. And uh, so he said, listen, we really appreciate you doing this. He says, why don't you bring it up? And he says, and I've, I'll, I'll have, a, I have a surprise for you. 
I thought, oh, I wonder if this is okay to do, you know, like, is it okay to do? Anyway, so I thought, oh, well, you know, the front desk knows what I'm doing and what I'm up to. So anyway, here I go with the head <laughs> and the wig on it into the elevator. And go. I know, I cannot remember. I mean, these are moments in your life where you wish you'd journal and you'd had it written down. Anyway, so and I knock on the door and this and Peyton was a really tall, handsome black man. And uh, I said, hi, <laughs> is this going to be okay? And he goes, oh, it looks great. He says, you know, we really appreciate you doing this. He said, I want you to come in and meet my brother. And I went, huh? And he come in, little Richard. Yes. <laughs> so anyway, uh, so for that whole stay, when, well, I mean, he went, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to think. Maybe they were in town for about four days. So anyway, so I did the wigs a couple more times after that for little Richard. Yes, he wore wigs. Uh, yeah, you didn't have to be a scientist to figure that out. And uh, they were nice enough. And of course, now you got to remember, in 1968, the legal age in, in Canada was still 21. I was 18 at the time. Uh, but anyway, I wasn't telling anybody that because he said, well, you know what, we've we've got a table reserved for you and whoever you want to bring, your guests or whatever. Uh, those few times that he came into town, I got to do Little Richard's wigs and I got to know Peyton pretty good. Um, but yeah, we've never stayed in touch or anything like that. But that's my little story with Little Richard. How cool is that? Hey guys, thanks for being here. Oh, I'm not even sure if I said that. I think I'm losing my mind. Thank you to all my regular subscribers. I want to thank you guys. You know what? I'm growing every every day, every week, a little bit. And I want to thank those people that are taking the time to come on board and support me. And some of you have been supporting me from day one. And you know, old school, I guess, a solid foundation. You know, when you're doing YouTube, you want to have a solid foundation. I'm figuring my first 5,000 subscribers are going to be my solid foundation. And from there, we can build a skyscraper. So I really appreciate you guys. And I realize what value you bring to my to my channel. So thank Thank you for that. And if you're new to my channel, I'm like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. Could be good, could be yes, or whatever. Please push that subscribe button. I would appreciate a thumbs up. Thank you very much. And of course, I'd love a comment. And if you're new, let me know that you're new. So I can come back and visit you. Or I can at least say, hi, how are you? Nice to meet you. Okay, guys, have a great week. Talk to you later. Bye.